It was 1987. We had just graduated from college. We had no prospects. I was a waiter, Sean was a caddy, and Kurt delivered pizzas. We got a van for 300 bucks and also bought a tent and a video camera. In September, we hit the road with no plan whatsoever. We were like a rock band with no gigs, no groupies, and no ganj. Welcome to the Trip Tapes. Okay. Your name and uh, address for the record, please. Uh, Kurt Peterson, all ease. So uh, after college, you uh, you uh, instead of getting a job, you took a trip. Yeah, we took a van trip around the country for about a year. We all had just graduated from Notre Dame. None of us wanted to get involved in any kind of real job, so we did uh, very hardcore summer jobs. My parents had very little involvement in the prep for this trip. Did they know you were going on the trip? I believe they knew, but I'm one of seven, and I don't think they tracked us closely. Uh, they had no idea where we were going, what our itinerary was, how we would call if we got ourselves in trouble. This was long before cell phones, long before the internet, and uh, they basically just said good luck, and we'll see you at Christmas. And uh, we kind of got this idea that we hadn't really seen the United States. We studied in um, London, and traveled around Europe when we were juniors in college. We drove all over, and really at the end of that day, somebody said, we've got to do this in the U.S. We've never been outside of really the Midwest. I think having been to Europe and kind of had that experience exploring Europe um, and not having, you know, not knowing where you're going to go the next day or where you're going to sleep was, was incredibly exciting. I don't know if Kurt had read On the Road, but I know Kevin had. I'd, I'd read it too, so that seemed to be kind of a romantic thing to do, go out, travel around the country. One of our themes, we had a number of themes, but one of our themes was William Lee Heat Moon's book called Blue Highways. The book was about this writer's uh, travels around the country and he stayed on blue highways. When you looked at maps, the blue highways were mapped, or were the highways that were, 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 were not the modern highways. So that was our goal, was to stay on the blue highways and the highways that were in the back country and the places that weren't as well traveled. When I left school, I was told I was going to buy the van because I was in Ohio and I was going to drive to Chicago. I had no other way to get out there. I didn't want to take a bus. So we all agreed I would buy the van. I'd never bought a car before. Did a little research, drove over to Rockside Road in Cleveland, got myself a beautiful blue van. Uh, had no idea what to look for, what I was trying to buy, but I ended up with a $3,000 van. Kevin alleges that they, he was assigned to buy the van. I mean, at best, there was, may have been some miscommunication. At worst, he jumped the gun. Back in Arlington Heights, I had, my uncle had offered us a van for $300. Which, once I got a look at the van, was $350 too much. I mean, we should have been paid money to take that piece of crap off his hands. I think it was some kind of insurance scam. I don't know what business Kurt's uncle was in, but Southside Chicago, I mean, I'll leave it at that. We bought, the, my Uncle Marty basically gifted us the van. It's, it was a lovely vehicle. Um, yeah. What it, kind of shape was that vehicle? Oh, it was, it probably had about 80,000 miles on it. It was, you know, it probably needed a little engine work and body work, but inside it was a palace. I mean, it had an, a beautiful table where you could, you know, put your drinks and what have you. The sound system was, was excellent and it, it never wore out despite, you know, it being used quite often. So it ended up being, you know, an excellent value as opposed to the baby blue van from Cleveland. What was your reaction to the two vans in comparison? Well, I think clearly the blue van was the better van, objectively. Sad to see it go, huh? Boy, it's been a lot of good time in this this summer. Is this a care package, you say? Yeah, this is the Lane's care package. Free Elaine's ball, key change. Might be a dongers football. In fact, there's dongers football right there, the mud brain. Man, let me close up on that. Oh, yeah. Point stone air fresher. Mmm, smells good. Here, let me get a sniff on that. Hold on, hold on a sec. Let me come up here and go. Ooh, that's a nice tongue. Wait a minute, wait. 
Oh yeah, that is nice. Puzzles Kirk could spend hours on. What a nice girl. Jackson, map of Jackson, with different landmarks marked out by uh, Elaine. The door wealthy's house, some nice dice. Coup de grace. Oh, wow. It's like giving the tires the old check. Did you learn that in vehicle maintenance class? I would say our family had zero understanding of any mechanical uh, realities of any kind of automotive product. Uh, my dad had instructed me how to change a tire. So I could do that. I could fill up a car with gas. And most of the time I could get the windshield wiper fluid in there. And that's about it. We were completely unprepared. We knew nothing. I'll, I don't, I mean, Kevin and Sean might say they knew something, but they knew nothing. Um, we could barely, you know, figure out where the drive thing was. I mean, we didn't, we had, we knew nothing. Oh, wow. Looks like you need a little WD-40 on that. Uh, I should write down all the information about this. Yeah, I don't know how to sell it. You want me to sell it? You gotta write it down and give me all the things. That was one of the things I was trying to put my tires on that thing. These are nice tires. I kicked them a few times. So, um, that's not a bad idea. These ones look really worn. Yeah. Well, uh, how about Sound good. A real van. <laughs> Your son's trip. <laughs> <laughs> Mom? You can edit that. <laughs> you like being on camera, I think. No, I, I think don't. think it runs no. in the family. <laughs> no, no, no. Did you push it down? Give the old goodbye. Do you have your finger right? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, I'll push it again. Right. My parents, I think, were, uh, you know, nervous but supportive. I mean, I, I think all of our parents, you, you know, we have to give them a lot of credit for letting us do this, you know, kind of ridiculous activity. What are you guys working on there, Sean? Uh, directions? <laughs> Route 12, all the way to Wisconsin. <laughs> Jesus, here we come. Well, yeah, but go karts. We got no money for go karts. See, look at my dad already trying to tell us, well, if you're going over to Madison, Dad. Really? You got gas. Paul is from Kenosha. I got a friend there. Oh. I guess I should be branching there. Marshall? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Kirk, oh, the whole thing? You want me to <laughs> close the back door? <laughs> I just remember the feeling of freedom. Mom. I mean, this was something that had been in some kind of planning stage for like a year and a half. We've been talking about this is something that we should do. And, you know, it actually was coming true. Um, that alone was kind of exciting, and we didn't know what we were getting into. That was exciting, but we were all four of us together. I think we all, you know, liked each other. We were looking forward to um, basically continuing another year of college without even having to go to class. Official trip has begun. I think it's too dark in here. Harley Heights, man. Harley Heights. I think it's too dark in here. Blue Highways. Blue Highways. How cool is it? First of all, something's got to be done here. Right kind here. Of a red highway. What's this? Yeah. Hey, old man. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh,